Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, another Warhammer video for you. This one is on painting up the Primaris Tech Marine uh, for the Ultramarines chapter. So what I've done here, and, and so far this was the first one I've actually tried to do a bunch of edge highlighting and really try to make it as good as I could get it. And I think it turned out okay. Um, you know, it was probably my best work to date for me, at least for my skill level, which isn't much, but I've uh, enjoyed the process of trying to get better. So this dude, um, he's base coated in corn red. Um, I've seen either using corn red or Mephiston red. I like the corn red. It looks a little darker, a little more maroon in it. To me, it matches more of the, you know, the Mechanicus uh, color scheme and everything. So that's what I went with. Uh, much of the colors are the same. You know, Abaddon Black for all the blacks. Lead Belcher for all of the silvers. Um, McCrag Blue for the blues. I tried to do a little bit of Calgar Blue, like kind of edge highlighting there on the shoulder pad. Um, you know, not perfect at all, but gives it a little bit of a uh, distinction. Um, all of the edge highlighting for the for the red, for the corn red, I used uh, Evil Sun Scarlet which initially looked really bright to me, but as I come back to it, I think it, it looks okay. I think the, the, the color is not too bright. So um, if you try that, just know, I, at least for me, it, it looked way too bright initially, but I think it, it tones down as it dries. Um, for the holsters, I went with uh, Dryad Bark for the browns, and then I edge highlighted that with, uh, gosh, doing this live, uh, Gunthor Brown. For the first first level edge highlight um all the blacks got edge highlighted with uh mechanica standard gray because that's just what i had on me you might want to use dawnstone or something else but that's what i used um for shading uh i did nolan oil for all the shading for the the armor as well as all the silver um you know all the silver pieces uh for the gold, it's all Retributor armor, and then I shaded that with uh, Rekarth Flush Shade uh, to give it kind of that a little warmer color. Uh, and so the same thing here. with um, For all the gold, it's Retributor armor, all on the axe, and all the little accents, uh, as well as the bolter casings. They're on the floor. Uh, that is all Retributor armor. Uh, the eyes, I did the uh, Tesseract Glow, so I did a white scar base with Tesseract Glow. To make that to, to make that uh, glowing effect the caution cables so the yellow and black what I did was I painted all of those uh, yellow first and then did try to do black stripes so definitely not perfect uh, the brush I had wasn't wasn't the best I've gotten some better ones but uh, not bad for a first attempt so that is everyone sunset for the yellow and then just have it on black for the black um, kind of turn them around see the back here So overall, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, little things. So, uh, you know, those lenses in the, in the gun, right? Um, the red is Mephiston red. The, uh, the green is the Tesseract Glow combo. And on the, uh, here, on the grav gun here, grav pistol, that is a green inside of the, the silver. And I believe I just used a um, Warpstone Glow for that, for that green. Last little bit of color, this little blue uh, lens here. I th I am trying to remember what I used. I think I used Calgar blue for that. But maybe I mixed in just a little bit of white just to get it a little bit lighter. That's about it. Oh, I guess the, uh, the ruined kind of vehicle hull that he's stepping off of. That was a, I used, I'm trying to remember. I used a Mechanica Standard Gray, and then I did a heavy dry brush of, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was just Mechanica Standard Gray, and then I did a, a dry brush of uh, a Manistratum Gray to try to lighten it up just a little bit. So... That is really about it for the Tech Marine. Uh, this one was a fun one to paint. Lots of cool details. Um, 
And so I, yeah. He's a, and he's a fun unit to play with, too. Just because he has all the guns and all the weapons. So it's, it's a good time. But uh, that's all I got for you for this one. Just a short one, just to show you what I've been up to uh, in modeling. Um, more Warhammer videos coming. More other Homestead videos coming, too. Uh, as we go into spring, got some projects planned. So appreciate y'all watching uh, the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.